we got co here our man you got the wine going i literally had a joke written down and it's not even a joke anymore because you're drinking wine because i saw a picture not that long ago you were working out i was like you got to work out a little bit to just stay sane right because if you're absolutely you love your wine your your cayman or whatever you're drinking over there yeah um legit and i am drinking i'm drinking my cayman's right there now. we go oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know me all too well I actually found out about that wine as a Cubs fan when Joe Madden was their manager and he would talk about it. I was like, I got to check this out. But is uh, you had a rough night last night. You were telling us a little hangover. So you got to do the hair of the dog and then just yeah. get ready for the day. How does that shit go these days? Yeah, it's usually – yeah, it's like I'll tell people that I wake up at, you know, two or three in the afternoon. They're like, what's wrong with you, you lazy piece of shit? And then it's like, well, most people don't go to bed at seven or eight in the morning like I do. So it's kind of like a – like a night shift type deal, you know? Yeah. So, whatever. My mom's like, just... you, need, you need to, my mom was like, you need to grow up. I'm like, okay. She's like, mom, I'm a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> mom, I paid my phone bill last week. All right. Chill out. <laughs> yeah. Does, does mom, I think dad probably knows, but like, does mom kind of get the, uh, kind of the, the aura that you have kind of out there, the fan, like she, she knows, of course, but just how big, it's getting and how big it, it I, has gotten. I think she, I think she, she, she does, but she doesn't let me know that I know that she does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's always one of those. Well, what, what are all these people doing here? Mom? What, what are all these people doing here? I'm like, mama, what for me, I'm literally, literally, literally says, Co, what's sold out outside the arena. You know, like, she's like, well, I just, I don't know. You know, I, I just, I just want to make sure I like, come on now. <laughs> but no, hey, she's, mom, I have she's an answer. <laughs> Yeah. you had you had private security bring you in here like what are you talking about dude we were we were bummed because some of our team uh as a lot of our followers know like we're in idaho um for the highway 30 fest and you guys had a good time and wes got a facetime at three in the morning with sleep and we got kids now we're not we don't feel old and we i yeah. drink more consistently now at home we told the story yeah. um, you'll you'll get there one day where it's like the garage beers <laughs> and all that beautiful stuff um the wine but you're uh we warned our our finance guy andrew we're like i'm telling you they drink like this isn't like i wes and i were always very confident in our drinking okay. abilities until the only artist that ever blacked me out before i even <laughs> saw him on stage was with on. you was you at, i think it was at joe's bar in chicago i yeah. that was the only time i i don't even I don't even know what happened. I remember like doing the pot, like, and it was just a day was over. Like I, we did the podcast five o'clock, woke up the next day, and I was just like, ah, man, that's a rough one. But it's real. Like you are, no. you have that ability to put them down and stay within, you know, make sense. I guess. I mean, I, I couldn't reasonable. That. And, yeah, I mean, it's impressive. But is it a blessing or a curse or both? It's it's kind of both, honestly. Uh, and now, especially now that I'm getting older, it's it's catching up with me more than it did, you know, five years ago. Yeah. Uh, because when did I meet y'all? That was hell. That had to been four years three, ago. Twenty eighteen, maybe. Four. Yeah, I think it was about yeah, four. Yeah, that was. I was I was a different human being back then, man. But yeah, now that I'm getting older, man, it's it's definitely starting to catch up with me, and I I can't fall back like I used to. But uh, we're still we're still going pretty strong, I'd say one uh one photo i have to ask you about that we never ended up writing about it of course but it's still on your instagram so it's still on your buddy's instagram Col uh I don't, colby easton is that his name you're colby uh, Elston. Yeah. Elston. oh is it Elston? Yeah. sorry um yeah. you guys had this photo <laughs> and you guys are both <laughs> just bloodied up just completely like it, it's one of those like whoa like i'm scrolling through instagram usually it's nothing's gonna just jump out at you um you both still have the photo up he just put it up for your birthday uh fairly recently what's going on <laughs> is that just you guys get drunk and just beat the shit out of each other yeah so so you y'all seen fight club right fight yeah club with, <laughs> so they're like i want to say like at least a good two years after shows we would basically have a fight club in in the in the bus like <laughs> our bus has has slide out so i mean you can fit a good 20 25 people in there and just start beating the shit out of each other have we have matches all right 
and makes sense. Like it was, it was whoever wanted to fight. It was, it was, it was three minutes in two rounds, and it was whoever tapped out. You know, I mean, or it was three rounds, and then uh, whoever tapped out twice lost. <clears throat> well, then I'm talking about we had managers, we had people from the bar just duking it out. It, it was no hands; you couldn't fight each other. It was all wrestling. Oh, right? Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, you could. Yeah, there was there was no there was no Jeez, kicking, you there, guys no really, punching. Yeah. yeah, it was all it was all wrestling. I'm talking about we would have just people lined up around the floor of the bus, and it was like a scene out of Fight Club, bro. We'd just be in there, and people would just be rolling around on the ground, talking about arm bars, all kinds of shit going on. Like, Jiu-jitsu. I was like, see, yeah, some of it was like, what the fuck is that? What is that even called right there? You know, like, <laughs> he's, that's not legal. But, uh, no, so that went on for a while, and finally one night me and Kobe were like, you know what? Let's just let's go body shots first. So we'll just start hitting each other in, in the sides and stuff. And that went on for about five seconds. And then it was like, all right, no holds barred. Let's throw hands. So we stood up, started throwing hands. And that picture was actually taken like halfway. <laughs> it was like halfway into the fight. <laughs> it got you should have seen this. Oh, you should have seen this after. So we played Corpus Christi the next day. They actually brought in nurses to the uh, to uh, Concrete Street. And I had my whole inside of my jaw was just where my where I bit down on it was trashed. Yeah. He had a cut. I'll send you all a picture. <laughs> he had a cut on his eye. And I'm talking about a gash. She was like, it'd probably been 15 stitches. And we were so drunk that I was like, dude, don't worry about it. I've seen these before. All we need is the super glue. So I pinched this thing together and super glue it shut. And so the nurses show up, or they're like, you got a concussion. He's got a concussion. He needed stitches last night, but y'all didn't come to us. So there's nothing we can do about it. I've got a black eye, busted lip. It was pretty rough. <laughs> Jesus, man. Needless I mean, to say, we had like two or three more fights, and then that was the end of Fight Club on the books. That's probably a good idea. Like, not that I feel like you would care, but, <clears throat> you know, even if a guy you, you could take and you were just fucking around and you guys were just, you know, laying some haymakers like you lose a front tooth it's like you got to show that night it's like god damn it now i gotta go to the dentist maybe or now i gotta go do this it's not so much about the you know whatever but you're gonna be fine singing yeah. but it kind of interesting to start with the body shots with the lungs as a singer as a guy yeah, that's yeah. kind of yeah. casting <laughs> it's like let me, let me fucking fuck my ribs up before i go on stage <laughs> was there anyone in the fight club that you were like god damn this how do they know how to fight or wrestle like this like were you were well, surprised so- so Otis, our guitar player, who we know well, he never, he's a great guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He never, he never really joined us. He's like, "You guys are goofy. I'm not doing this." He's shit. Like, I'm gonna go like, hunt an elk. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all are dumbasses, right? Like, I'm gonna have, go have Bible study and pray for y'all. It's all good. <laughs> so one night we get him just drunk enough because I mean Otis, he doesn't, he, you know, he drinks whiskey and stuff, but he never takes it over the limit. Like he's always right mm-hmm. there. One night we get him just a little bit over that limit, bro. And he was like, uh, he was like, I- I'll wrestle anybody in here. So I was like, all right, let's go. We start rolling and everybody forgets that he was a black belt in karate and all this <laughs> shit. So the first time, the first time, you know, I, I get him, but he was kind of like, all right, now he's warming up. Dude, this dude, he gets me in some kind of, like I say, I, I don't even know what you call it, man. Like some kind of weird move. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, hell no, I'm done with this. <laughs> It's like what? it's like it's it's uh, the MMA is was on point. Yes, one hundred percent. He had, he had me in a headlock so quick, and I was like, "What the hell? Like this is not supposed to happen," you know. Was well, when I asked a question on Twitter, we asked uh, we we threw it up on Instagram and stuff for fans to ask some questions, and we had one that we couldn't figure uh-huh. out. So if we sound like idiots right now, yeah, we we, we took some uh, we took some fan questions, and somebody asked if you ever showed up at a volunteer fire department for a fist fight and they were like oh that sounds like some east texas shit and i don't know if there's a story there but it sounded like there might be <laughs> i started googling east i started googling firefighter fight clubs <laughs> google was auto populating it i'm like i don't know what the hell's going on oh no honestly that, oh you don't know okay good that, good because i didn't know what the that hell does was. sound about right but i mean okay good if y'all want to if y'all want to add it to the resume yeah for sure but not, i don't I know i didn't know what it meant are 
uh, Casey, who, who scheduled the podcast, she's like, this ha- sounds like an interesting question, but I have no idea what it means. I was like, I don't know either. We were like, so, is there a story here? Or is this just uh, something that's some bullshit? But all right, that's yeah, good. that's good. I don't, I don't. I, I didn't show. I might have showed up with yeah. somebody, but I don't remember. No, I don't. <laughs> You're just watching. <laughs> yeah, um, that so does sound like some East Texas shit, though, for real. Speaking of crazy stories, uh, when Parker was on Theo Vaughn's podcast, he told a story about how you and him went to the strip club, just throwing shit through the windows, laying in the street, like just going crazy. How how long ago was that? Well, do you remember that night? Like, how was what was that like? Yeah. That was, I think it was either the first Naughty or Nice that we did or the second one. I'm pretty sure it was the first one, though, because we were both still in the vans. Uh, and, yeah, we, everything was true. The, the only thing that he left out was when we were kicking in the holes in the walls, we were signing each one of them with Sharpies. And I have a picture of it, too. My buddy was with us that night, and he, he was sending me pictures. And I was like, holy shit. I guess he'd heard the the podcast whatever yeah. and um but yeah i'll send y'all the picture of it we were just every time we kick a hole parker wants to act like he didn't want to do it but that's bullshit because <laughs> he was kicking just as many as i was do you but, have any uh, crazy parker stories that you can uh, share what's your craziest <laughs> parker story i could have probably shared them with you a year or two ago before you got like, married I, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what a friend! What a friend! <laughs> yeah, that strip club thing though. That's a great. That was a funny story. It's the article's on the site. It's pretty long. Um, if anybody's yeah. interested, but uh, there, there, I don't. It's not there anymore, of course. But in in Printer's Alley, right in Nashville, used to have a real nasty one that we went oh, to one night. God, what a shithole! Back oh. in the day, like ten years ago, <laughs> yeah. like the most depressing shit, where the guy, the guy standing outside of it was selling six packs of Budweiser for like. Forty seven dollars. I was like, God, I was like, Shh. I was like, hell yeah, deal. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like three in the morning yeah. and everything's closed, and it's just like a good business decision at that point. And, and they just put you in a lawn chair around the stage. It's <laughs> like, it's like Wes. I'm like, she wants to. Her and her friends want to get pancakes in the morning. Like, I'm like, what are you? They're they're not. Like, this is like you think you're saving. Like, you think you're saving somebody, and it's just like, yeah. oh, it's like you think back to that, but. I fell in love with many a stripper in my day. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, absolutely. It's just like, you're like, God, God damn it. I fell in, I fell in love Credit with Credit card gets on, skimmed on from Sunday, the ATM. Yeah. <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like 800 bucks for 20. You take out 20 bucks, but they're taking 800 bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, oh, those the, are the best. The 75% uh, fee. That's so much bullshit. What was uh, pretty awesome, I assume, but... Uh, you did a, a couple of shows, I think, right, with Snoop Dogg, which we posted about. Oh. What's he like? Because he seems like one of the coolest dudes of all time. And just smoking with him, I assume you did, must have been you know, a lot of fun and hanging out. And what was that like? Man, he's like exactly how you would imagine him to be. Like, just mm-hmm. super down to earth. Like, he is Snoop Dogg. Like, every everything you're seeing him on, every movie, every podcast or – you know, commercial, that's, that's him. <clears throat> He's just a very genuine dude. Uh, yeah, we got to hang out with him. We met him first in, uh, where were we at? I can't remember where we at the first time we met him. But anyway, oh, we were in Austin. He was playing a show in Austin, and one of our buddies <clears throat> has done a bunch of uh, shows with him, and he was like, hey, here in a second, bring, I'll bring you back. You meet Snoop. We're like, all right. And we show up and meet him, and he starts telling about what we're doing in Texas and outside. And he was like, yeah, let's get a show together. And uh, it ended up working out, man. And it was fun. It was awesome. Yeah. I remember seeing that video of you telling him you do like 10,000 seats. He's like, what the fuck are you doing 10,000 seats? <laughs> like, let's do a show. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I think it was Ian. Ian was like, yeah, he's doing like 10,000, 15,000. I'm like, yeah, hey, get you out. We're like, you know, like, but what's that Texas that- thing, man? We, we um i mean you're obviously got fans everywhere but as far as you know where where you guys are from um we've had a lot of guests on here or or just people we talk to in the industry and the mainstream like business side of like the pr world of it when they they're like they have no idea about a co-wetzel a lot of times like the national people um or they maybe have heard it then you tell them like the ticket sales or you tell them go look at what so-and-so is doing or so-and-so and they're just like huh huh go like they're records. just so confused and it's like yeah it's like real fans real fans that are built 
over time. And I feel like you, you've done that. I mean, as good as anybody, I feel like you got some like fans that are just as loyal as probably I, we've ever seen doing whiskey riff and going on eight years now. What do you got? Go, you got yeah. three gold records now? Like, <laughs> yeah, three, man. Pretty, uh, pretty wild. Very blessed, man. We're, uh, the fans have done it all. Honestly, we've not to say that we haven't busted our ass and done, done everything we can, but you know, like, uh, like y'all said, we have some loyal ass fans, man. They, they do everything for us. So it all goes to them, you know? Yeah. There's a, another artist and we kind of participate in kind of hyping this up a lot, but you were supposed to open up at not, not even open, but just perform at a posty fest. I don't know if that's yeah. still happening, but like yeah. people for a long time have been like, Oh, Co Wetzel post Malone need to do a song together. And then we did that whole like April fool's thing where the, you guys were going on tour together. And I remember I texted you to ask if we could do that. And you were like, yeah, that's yeah. cool. So I appreciate that. <laughs> But people well, it went paper. viral, yeah. It went viral. Yeah, so. people people still come up and they're like, "Yeah, man, so I hear you doing all those shows of posts and stuff." I'm like, "Oh, that was a joke." They're like, "Wait, what?" I told my grandma about that. You know, like, <laughs> sure like they, that. If they read the article, they'll see it. But have you had even? Is there any? Yeah, go ahead, Wes. Even Davis texted me uh, from your management and was like, well, "I thought I saw that and was like, oh, cool. Wait a minute, yeah. what?" <laughs> like, um, but is there, have you ever met him or would you like to collab with him? Cause I know you got some collabs you're cooking up right now that are, that sound pretty um, awesome, but like, that seems like the one that people want to see. Um, yeah. is there, have you ever met him at all? Or would you like to do that? I haven't, I haven't got to meet him yet. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't want to do a song with post, but I haven't, I haven't got to meet him. Um, I think I should definitely, well, definitely send people over the edge. Also, what's happening right now with the rumblings, and you've we'll, you mentioned this to us before, and we're going to ask you again, but I think your your dad might have said something to, to one of our employees at Highway 30, actually, about this. I don't know if he was supposed to, but a country album by <laughs> Co Wetzel one day. Post Malone is You're really... now. That, yeah, Post Malone is really... thing With uh, the Brad Paisley cover and then the Sturgill cover, and then recently him and Paisley were doing something else on TikTok, and then it's like you're both converging to this point that's going to be like a co ed supposed to country song, not a sad yeah. boy song. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Could could happen. Hopefully, um, yeah, for sure. The Diplo, yeah. I mean, you saw you hanging out with Diplo, right? And then was it Kodak Black something going on? Yeah, like, what you got a lot of interesting little What are you guys cooking on. up there? Yeah, so uh, we had Wes hit me up, Diplo, he hit me up about a song. He was, he was just wanting to work together. And then... Uh, he was just wanting to work together, and then he kind of hit me up, and he had a couple different artists he was sending me, and then he sent me this Kodak track, and I just kind of told him, you know, I was like, no, none of this is really going kind of the, the way that I'm wanting to, you know, throw the music out there, and I was just going to tell him, like, legit, me and Dre are on the plane coming back, and I'm listening through everything. They, they, he was kind of waiting on an answer, and I was like, man, I think I'm just going to, you know, do my own thing, and We'll work together. Let's cook something up together one day. And that night, he sent me a song from or a track from Diplo or from uh, Kodak, and was like, "What do you think about this? This is more your style." And he he threw some drums in it and a little guitar and, and bass riff. I was like, "Oh hell yeah!" So uh, me and Kimball, we gave it to Kimball. Um, we kind of worked it up, and, and then we went to New York, did some stuff with it, and uh, it's actually finished now. It sounds really fucking cool, man. We're excited about it. Uh, hopefully, drop it here in the next month or so. Oh, um, wow. Y'all are the first people to hear that. So, Hell yeah. Okay. But yeah. Great. And are, are you rapping or what are you doing in them? Yeah, I'm rapping and uh, Kodak is singing country. So, <laughs> I'm really? <laughs> I'll say, wait a minute. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, I'm, I'm sitting here like, I wouldn't be surprised. I would be kind of. Yeah, that would be <laughs> dope. <laughs> but no, man, it's a, it's, it's a rock and roll song, honestly, man. It's a, I'm excited about it. Everybody we showed it to has been really excited about it. So nice. great to get it out there. Is that water, by the way? I meant to ask you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I need to, I need to drink more of it. Would you put anything yeah. in it? Just a little bit of vodka. Really? <laughs> yeah. The no. you gotta get there's I got I found uh online at this like 
like a medical grade electrolyte stuff that actually tastes good. And I was like, I'm going to start trying this, but it, I don't really notice any difference, but what is it? Just, it's just like an electrolyte solution. That's kind of a little uh, like stronger. I think they're like Pedialyte or something, but you buy it like yeah. through like a, I don't know what they're called. There's like these certain supplement websites that are technically used by doctors that you need like, <clears throat> you know, like so medicine. much of, yeah, there's all that shit. But do you do that stuff? Like the, the IVs and like the, yeah. The kind of, yeah. Whatever, yeah. yeah, we do the uh, we do like we'll do the liquid IVs, and depending on where we're at, we'll we we'll usually get the we'll get like a like two or three IVs a month, just so for yeah, us that's a lot. But yeah, I was talking to Jelly Roll, and uh, whenever we <laughs> did Cheyenne, Cheyenne, uh, he was like, "Yeah, dude, I get one of these like every single day," and I was like, "For real?" And he had already had one during the day, and I I had just woken up, so I was like, "Hell yeah, let's get one." So I sucked down like two bags just as just as quick as he did one, and he was like, "Dude, you got to start drinking more IVs." <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. Wes and I did one in Nashville. They kind of like were like, "Hey, you get a free one, just like tag us in a funny yeah, post." We did like, like, a, oh, we we'll did like a sponsor. <laughs> I swear to God, I yeah. felt worse. I swear to God, I felt worse. But I was Dude, like, you ever, "Have you ever felt worse from it?" Well, I like if I'm really hungover, they don't help at all. They make me feel worse. But if I'm like slightly hungover or just just want one, then they make me feel better. It's oh, weird. Okay, and also it didn't help that we probably had a, a couple bloody marys and then went. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so they're they're, like... gi- they're giving it to me, and I got a cocktail in my hand. <laughs> right. Just all this like fucking. No, nothing works as well as another drink to me. Like even John yeah. Party said that, right? Like, the there's nothing. Just, Hair yeah. of the dog works the best. Just kind of ease your way back into it, ease your way back down. Like that's yeah. forever going to be the way that works. Didn't John yeah, say, John Party say something about Cove? That was Cove, right? Was oh swore. he? Yeah, John Party when he was on here uh, a month or so ago, he said that he went to Billy Bob's and he saw he did the handprints and everything, and he was looking at all the other people, and you know how people kiss the the handprints. He's oh, like, yeah. I, he's <laughs> like, I'm looking, and he go, I see one that's just red. Yeah, and that's Cole Wetzel's hand. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't got to, I haven't got to meet John either. John's really fun, cool man. Dude. John John drinks and he's he just he turns it another gear on, kind of like yeah. you probably, and yeah. just has a good time. And he's like, for me, it's like a breath of fresh air within like the mainstream label world where he's still like a dude that's fun and not like a robot. Yeah. Which I don't know if you've seen that a lot. Do you, have you seen that with your not not maybe not your buddies but just in the industry get the label get the money start start doing yeah. the bigger shows start, and then they just they just change like almost yeah, immediately just, yeah like they don't know how to take the cape off like type yeah. deal you know yeah. yeah yeah but luckily for us you're not one of those dudes but <laughs> you gotta <laughs> yeah you're on a you're on a major label in a sense not in a, like the yeah yeah but it doesn't feel like it is yeah I, no it, yeah columbia columbia has been cool like they, they just kind of let us do whatever they want to like they like i've told y'all before whenever we sign with them like we didn't want to change anything like yeah. go for it like just don't fuck up We're like right. oh, fuck. all right here we go man yeah and like zach bryan kind of took that route too where he signed yeah, with, he exactly. signed with warner but not warner nashville just like warner general yeah. and he's he's killing it too um new song creeps that coming out soon you just tease a little bit on uh youtube it is we keep <clears throat> we keep uh fucking with everybody i think they're gonna get sick of it here for too long so we need to drop it pretty quick but yeah it's coming out um honestly i, don't, I couldn't even tell you some days i'll just wake up and be like just, damn we dropped a new music video man we dropped <laughs> a new song like well i saw you you were doing a crazy video for it right yeah like, yeah the to, uh, walking dead shit yes it is and it was like but I've I'd always seen like you know you see Walking Dead and all that shit, but I haven't seen besides like Michael Jackson Thriller like <laughs> you hardly ever see like zombie zombie music, music videos. Video. So I had this idea and I was like, just kind of run with it and see what happens, dude. It uh, it turned out really cool. You have pretty badass music videos. Do you kind of do a lot of those, or do you get treatments and you kind of pick, or is that something that kind of you do in your own mind? Uh, we've we've had treatments before, but I feel like. Whenever I, I write them or whenever I have an idea for them and let, you know, one of my buddies or whoever's directing kind of help me go through it, they come out a little bit better, or in my opinion. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, most of them I've, I've wrote. Uh, I, I wrote Creeps, the music video for Creeps, 
and then uh, sent it into Toe Hill. It was kind of an outline, and I sent it into Patrick Toe Hill out of Nashville, and uh, just kind of let him fill in the empty spots, man. It turned out really cool. So, a couple quick things before we let you go, because <clears throat> you tweeted this, uh, and we were cracking up. The we had this post about this awesome uh, Airbnb in Texas that you said you got a arrested at <laughs> or you went to jail or something uh by Grun Hall. Um Grun Hall, did I pronounce that right? Uh Green. Yeah. Green. The great spot. We I mean I think George Strait went there a few years ago was right. We posted yeah, those videos. Yeah, like he could made, made a return home. after I don't know how many decades. But um what actually happened if you're willing to say because that seems like a really cool chill spot where you, you wouldn't get in a lot yeah. of trouble. <laughs> Unless it's like, like a, it's like a, a so people, people are wondering, it's like a tree house, Airbnb yeah. is kind of outdoors, indoors. There's like a pool. It's like super, it looks like a great yes. spot if you have kids. Like it's, just, oh, it's, it's wonderful. <clears throat> and we we had stayed there before, but uh so we used to play this spot down in New Bromble's. It was called uh Conway's. And after you play Conway's, they let you stay in this the treehouse place, or whatever. I guess I don't know if they it, it was theirs or whose it was, but they just rented it out. Well, whenever we played it, we played it on like the 2nd or the 3rd of July. And so we were like, hey, we'll come and play, but can y'all rent out the house for us for the week for 4th, 4th of July weekend? And they're like, yeah, cool. So <clears throat> on the 3rd of July, we go out at the pool all day. We play on the 2nd, 3rd. We're on in the pool. We're out on the lake. And I'm – I'm pretty drunk. This is back during the Rumpelmans era. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. So oh, you had a Rumpelmans era. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. That took me right so, back to college. Yeah. Dude, so we're sitting out there, and everybody mm. knows they're slowly, you know, it's mm. two and three in the evening. People are slowly falling like flies. And so I got, it's right off the uh, lake. I can't remember what lake that is. But anyway, I got out on the lake, and this is like right as noise complaints coming out. So this boat drives by and they're they're jamming a noise complaint and somebody on there goes, Holy shit, is that code? I'm like, Yeah, what's up? You know, and I got a bottle of rum. They pull up, they're like, Hey, you wanna come ride around with us? I have no clue who these people are, or nothing. I'm like, Oh yeah, let's go. So we'll go out all day. Sounds like a good get, idea. <laughs> go back all day, dude. I finished the bottle. I'm blackout, dude. It's almost dark. So I walk back up to the tree house and I'm like, hey, where is everybody? And my one of the guys that was running security for me at the time, he was like, he was just more of a, a big best friend, you know. And he was like, <laughs> Yeah, er everybody left. They told me not to tell you where they went. And I was like, Oh, fuck that. Let's go. Get ready. We're going. Great security. So we guy. Go <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we go to the square down in San Marcos and we're sitting there, we're going bar to bar, and finally meet up with them. I walk in, everybody's like, oh, fuck, here we go. And they could tell I was drunk. Uh, and so we, we go bar to bar, and this last bar we go to, uh, and this guy's sitting there, and he's like, hey, he's like, I'm not letting you in, you're way too drunk. And I was like, whatever, kind of throw my card at him, just walk right by him, <laughs> go straight to the bar, try to order. Well, a cop comes, comes and grabs me, takes me outside. And he's sitting there and he's looking at everybody. And you can, my lawyer maybe watched on the body cam, which was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but uh, like, he was like, he was like, yeah, you're going to jail. And he's, I'm like, Who, I'm going to jail. He's like, oh yeah, you're going to jail, buddy. Before he could even turn around, I was gone. I done took <laughs> off. I'm sprinting, bro. I'm starting running and I dropped my phone <sighs> and I got, I go back to pick up my phone. And this punk ass kid just tackles me, bro, and gets me on the ground. And the cop comes, pulls a gun on me. Dre's sitting there behind him, like, Co, just stop moving, just stop moving. And I'm just sitting there, like, damn. So you were citizens arrested? By <laughs> yes. I got citizen arrested by a kid that went to Texas State. If you're out there, you little pissed. Some 19 year old punk ass kid. <laughs> Dude, I was so pissed. And so, you know, like the next day is July 4th. So they're not. They're not coming out. And that was like on a Saturday or some bullshit. So I had to wait. I, I was in there for judge. like three or four days. What's the – Yes. What's that? <laughs> that was so initially you were going to be arrested just for being public intoxication? Yeah, it was just going to be a PI. But and my then, dumb ass, uh, I thought I'd be great. Yeah. Bro, bro, I think one of my buddies was like – I think one of them was like, run, you know, or something like that maybe. And I was like – he was a Yeah, I mean, it could have – had you not dropped your phone, you would you probably would have – it would have never – 
the cop would have been like, whatever, yeah. he was a drunk guy. And, just and this, was se- <laughs> this was like semi after me playing college football. So I was like in better oh, shape. I, I was that. like, oh. I was like, oh yeah, dude, I can definitely outrun this dude. And I forget that. I, what did you what positions you put? Sorry, what positions you play? Uh linebacker, yeah. Yeah, I mean how how do you think the Cowboys are gonna do this year? We're gonna win a Super Bowl. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Always. Vikings fan, uh random, but the uh do they play if they play this year? West made a funny I yeah. had a funny idea. Yeah, I think, I think, we'll, a, I think they play the bet. they play the Bears and the Vikings. I think we should put a little money on it. The Bears we should definitely <laughs> definitely they're, they're gonna definitely be a money 10 bet. point favorites against I, the Bears. I might need some points on the Bears, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. We'll I don't know. I think uh you, you know, as Cowboys fans, we always have we're gonna win the Super Bowl, but I don't know. We'll I think the coach goes. is the problem, man. I, I really do. Like Mike McCarthy, <laughs> like that guy, like he just there's just birds chirping in his in his brain when when it comes down to like clock management and yeah and talent obviously, is insane the talent obviously is insane, obviously clock clock management we were at the uh, it was me Casey Donahue and uh, Dre and a couple other guys I think Red Shahan might have been with us we went to the uh, the playoff game and it was it was it was a rough one we had a hard time getting out there without fighting somebody to be honest we were oh yeah. At the playoff game against yeah, yeah, the Forty yeah. Nineers in Dallas, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was that was a rough one to watch. Yeah, yeah. McCarthy, that was that was like like that hire that when the league started getting younger with head coaches, yeah. and like Lafleur went to Green Bay and all these like good looking younger coaches, like what the hell's going on? All these guys are yeah. like, these coaches are younger than I am. They're like thirty three years old. It's and then it's like, oh, they go get Mike McCarthy, who's like, no, I sat in a room for a year and I studied uh, analytics. It's like, oh god, yeah. <laughs> like, well, like, whenever, whenever we, whenever we first got him, I was excited about. I was like, oh, because he's like a real know, coach. Yeah, yeah. Because, but when he's coming from Green Bay, you know, like I always kind of put it on. Well, you know, Rodgers didn't have anybody, you know, to throw to, or their defense was shit, you know. And I was like, I think it's gonna be really good, and. Man, we should have done it last year. Last year was our, our year. Well, Dak, sure, but... I think Dak, if Dak can stay healthy, I mean, I, he's yeah, like a 100%. nice little, like a dark horse, like MVP candidate in my mm-hmm. mind, I think. 100%. percent we we'll see, though. But, I mean, they lost uh, Amari Cooper. Amari, Amari Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. We lost, but Micah uh, Parsons and these guys, man, they're just fucking yeah, animals. Yeah. Like, so. our, our defense is going to be stacked again. Uh, our receiving core, I think, is going to be pretty good. We got that, uh, was it the Vasher kid? Um, where did he come and, from? Yeah, and Diggs is yeah. is pissed that he's Diggs. not in a conversation for yes. the best corner and getting so. cooked in practice. It. <laughs> I love it. What's that stadium like, by the way? Because it looks insane. It's probably a, a great not, place. Have, to go. I haven't been to the Cowboys. No, I haven't been there. No, oh, it's 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 ridiculous, man. It is total chaos. Wes is over here with the the Bears, where they're trying to uh, figure out how to not let them leave the city, which they're about to. I'm trying to leave the city too, to be fair. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, dude, are y'all uh, are y'all y'all Cubbies fans? I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the Cubs thing, man. We had Matt Miller from ESPN on. I think that was last week, right? Yeah, was, last um, week, yeah. So we talked a lot of sports, and um, the Cubs thing is funny. I live in Colorado now. I don't know if I told you, but. So here, like, the Rockies are kind of bad, obviously. But then they're excited for the Broncos with Russell Wilson. But as a Cubs fan, I think it's still the most expensive ticket in all of yeah. baseball. And they're 35,000 like, people last night or something. And they're still really? 15 yes. games under 500. Um, and their beer prices are still at one of the highest. And I, they make, and then finally, the owner today was like, don't worry, we're going to spend this offseason. Because it's... When Rizzo left and went to the Yankees, he's like, yeah. the fact that the Cubs don't spend money every year is a joke. Like they well, have. It's like, well, it's it's kind of like the Rangers. Like y'all let y'all let go of everybody, and then you don't bring anybody in. Or it's kind of like the Cowboys last year. We let go of everybody, and then you know who the fuck did we bring in? Like, it's, have you been to a Cubs game? I went. I went uh, last time we played in uh, Chicago. We played Joe's. Not on uh, the Rose. Oh, the, one. Oh, the suburban one. Rose Bowl. Yeah. yeah, that's suburban, the bigger yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, they took us, and we sat behind the home plate, and it was it was unlike any other baseball it's like game a, I've ever been to. Right, it's the the only I can't say it's the best because I haven't been to Fenway, but as a Cubs fan, yeah, I think, true. Yeah, it's like 
it's different. Like you go there, the yeah. smell and the look and the all that atmosphere, stuff. It's just the whole atmosphere. Like the, the fans. It's like you drink like 20 every... beers. You drink 20 beers. It doesn't feel like yeah. 20 beers. It's like you kind of ease into this like euphoria of like no. pissing in a trough. Oh, they're going to be on the, <laughs> the, oh, the trough. They're, they're going to be on the field. <laughs> it's of like game. Oh, the trough is like you just pee in a bucket with a bunch of other guys. And then a guy will try to bring his kid in there, and he's like holding his kid as he's trying to. It's like the weirdest shit. And then you just hear like <laughs> yeah, stalls, and it's like people are just dropping like the mini bottles of Jack Daniels, like tink 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 tink. And you're in there. And yeah, I, I would. And the drunk a pie. girls are trying to get in there because the <laughs> girls' pants. line for the bathroom is 20 miles long at Wrigley Field. Yeah. So they're yeah. trying to get into the men's restroom. They're like, yeah, like cheering. It's just like the weirdest. Like this is because it's not built properly because yeah. it's so old <laughs> yeah so just, yeah we, we, we don't do that down in texas man yeah. we don't we don't be doing that shit. you got the fancy <laughs> shit um <laughs> you mentioned casey donahue a little bit ago you were in with him in mexico what was that like because that looked amazing we got to go to that festival man. whatever that is. i need to go to that I, casey donahue I that was one of my favorite places thing. man yeah uh boots on the beach he's been i think this year was his fourth fourth or fifth year uh so they kind of started it uh, in back of the Bahamas, uh, it was like a Texas music take takeover and Casey's Boots on the Beach side deal. And then uh, they moved from the Bahamas to Cabo. And dude, it is. It's just two. He has two weeks of it. Uh, two man, weeks. It's just, it's just two weeks. Yeah. There's a well. There's a there's a break during the weekend. Right, you can right. say the whole two weeks or you know flip flop. But yeah, man, it's great. It's right there. It's you know you're ten minutes from downtown Cabo. I mean, you go out on the water, you go fishing, go golfing. I don't know if you saw our, our yeah, uh, the our watermelon. Golf video. We posted <laughs> that. You, your guy sent us that. Was it John? Or, I think John. Uh, yeah, uh, John Park sent me that. Yeah, JP. Yeah, yeah. That was I was I was like down. So I, I hit my drive perfect, dude. And I'm down there by the green, which I three putted by the way. But I'm down there, <laughs> and all of I, and there's like these there was like these wild. I don't know if they're watermelons or what the fuck they are, but. I just grow out there, and all I hear is like this do, 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 do. I'm like, what? And I look up, this damn watermelon. I come like, come on, guys, you know, like, because <laughs> I, I like nice golf courses, and and you know, people respect them and shit. And I'm like, come on, what the fuck are y'all doing? All of a sudden, I'm like, hold up, that might go in the hole. And then it hits the flag. I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy. Are you a good golfer? Uh it depends. It depends on the day. I'll go out and I'll shoot. 76 78 and then i'll go out and shoot 102 103 so <laughs> it really depends on how much i've had to drink and if i'm being serious about is it. there a you know like uh bags or cornhole i'm saying that for geographic purposes both names um and then whether beer pong college like drinking games specifically there's another fun one with the ring and the little hook that people have in the garage yeah um but golf is a great example of one where guys like to go early they start drinking early are you do you have a level where you're like not as good and then a few drinks in okay now i'm in my group but then you get a few drinks later and it starts going off the off the fucking rails yeah like so i like i like so i'm a very competitive dude uh very very always want to win everything so Whenever I go out, I'll go play the front nine, and depending on my score after the front nine, then it's hammer time or not. You know, I'll have a couple beers on the front nine, but I want I want to see how actual you yeah. know how good I am at golf. Right. So after the front nine, if I'm ten over, it's it's fireball, baby. <laughs> we're, about to, we're about to have fun, but yeah, no, if it's uh, if I'm if I'm shooting you know three or four over or close to even, I'm I'm probably I'm I'm laying back a little bit. How often you go? Which is which is which is not very which is not regular. Very like often. I don't do that on a yeah very often. I just have a funny John Daly video where he's ordering <clears throat> vodka, and then he's like, "No, no, I don't want." He's like ordering it from the wh- whoever, I don't know, <laughs> cart girl. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "You got anything that's not Russian vodka?" <laughs> <laughs> America, like, baby. <laughs> And you're just like, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I'd like I'd like to I'd like to golf with John. I've heard a lot of crazy cool stories. Well, I've always been a fan of him, but uh yeah, I heard he's a he's a bad motherfucker on the course. Yeah, he's like I guess the in, in all of country music, who would be the, is Jake Owens probably the best golfer, right? Because he was kind of professional yeah. last right? Yeah, Other I think that, Jake's I'm not sure who best. else is up. Isn't Tony Romo 
by the way, like a Colt Ford athlete. is like a really good golfer. Oh, Colt <laughs> so Ford. I've, I've, yeah, I've golfed with Colt Ford, and I was like, dude, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to just <laughs> wax this his dude ass, up. dude. <laughs> Dude, this kid, dude gets up and hits one like 300. I'm like, no ways. Yeah, I used to have a pro card. I'm like, shit, I guess I should have bet him all that money before we started, you know? like We we had our company retreat here in Colorado and went to a, a top we golf. Did, or, did a little top golf. And I thought, like, I go, I go, and I haven't golfed in so long. And I'm just like, I'm just going to blast these things. Everybody was terrible, I feel like. Even the people that <laughs> golf sucked, right, Wes. Right? Yeah. Even the people, like, everybody was just, like, not good. Our one of our most jacked employee, Joe, he, we got to send him this. <clears throat> goes to hit, almost kills a bunch of kids, throws the club across the loses the like club. The restaurant, <laughs> loses the club, like, and we're just like, God damn it! Like, <laughs> you, see, you see those, you, you see those videos, like people like falling off into the nets. <laughs> into the net. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's like us every time we go to top golf. It's like All Jesus, right. great stuff. Don't want to take up more of your time. What's on for the week? Are you playing somewhere tonight? What are, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm off. I'm back home. Everybody else is uh oh, nice. in Iowa, so I'll fly out in the morning, meet up with those guys, and then we have a weekend, and then we're back, and then is there start any on tour all over again? Nice. Are you are you private jetting it everywhere these days? Uh, not everywhere. Tomorrow I'm not. Um. Southwest yeah, Airlines, a... American baby. Me, yeah, American. I got that American <laughs> card. <laughs> got that American card. Yeah, that's what everybody's like. Are you? Are you? Did you buy a private jet? I'm like, oh, fuck no. Like, like you're I like, said, I'm not I, the I, rock. I, I I paid my phone bill last week, so that's what I'm excited about. You know, I think like, it's with all the respect. Wes and I were talking about that. We're like, damn, these Texas guys take a lot of fucking jets. Like, oh yeah, hundred percent. All, all the power to you guys. It's impressive because you guys know how to make money. No, yeah. it's because of fans, though. Absolutely, you guys sell tickets and shit, so it's it's not. But... Yeah, what was it? Uh, was it Ron White, the comedian? He was like, "Yeah, I flew in on my uh, jet that you guys bought me." So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, right. What uh, what kind of new album coming out this year? Or what, what's what's on yeah. the horizon? So the record's finished, man. Hell Paso is done. Oh, that um, is the name. Okay, cool. Yeah, Hell Paso. Um, we're just kind of waiting, man. We have, we've got a song with, like I said, Diplo Kodak. Uh, we've got this single, Creeps, coming out, and then uh, me and Jelly Row uh, put together a song. It's finished as well. So it's just kind of spacing everything out to where it makes sense. Is that country um, album going to happen <clears throat> that you promised us a couple years ago? So yeah, so that's what I was I was going to get to earlier. Uh, everybody's like. You said you were gonna put out a country record whenever you're 30. It's been like two months. And I'm like, <laughs> I, said, I, I was you like, ready. I, I, think I, I, I think you had a brazzer shirt. I think you had a brazzer shirt on driving through a cornfield when you said you said that to us. If I'm not, I did. If I'm not mistaken. And I, and I and I, I meant it. I am gonna put out a country record this year, but it's not. I mean, I didn't literally mean the day I turned 30. I was gonna put it's it like out. So. <laughs> So everybody's like all pissed off. They're like, "Oh, he's fake. He he, he tells lies." To everybody, you know, like he said he's gonna put one out when he was thirty, and it's been like thirty ten eight minutes. days or some shit. <laughs> so it's no, happening. I didn't That's, mean it's it. exciting. Yeah, yeah, it is happening. Uh, and shit, it might be honestly when I'm thirty-one, but whatever. It, as long as it was around that time. Yeah. Did you end it? Was it the last album? Um, Love it. Ended- Love yeah, it was well, a country ass song. That was Love awesome. It, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. They give people well, a little taste. I was talking to Parker the other day and I was like, we were just bullshitting. You know, we talked every other day and I was like, man, I'm, I'm going to need your help with this country shit. I was like, I haven't wrote a country song in forever. And he was like, what you need is another love, you know, another <laughs> love song or a love it or something like that. He was like, you got it. So I've been, I've been writing a lot for it. Uh, but like I said, I want it to be a, uh, like a '90s country man, just kind of everything that I grew up on, nice. uh, you know, shit like that, and for, for it to be authentic, not you know, just a bunch of bullshit. Just yeah, you know what? So the one thing I would say is like in the what we've seen in, on the mainstream side, which was awesome for us, kind of as you start to get really annoyed with what's out there. It's guys that came along, and it didn't seem gimmicky, like a Luke Combs, for example. It's like. Okay, that's his thing. It is like it sounds ninety ish. Even Cody Johnson no. has some of that. 
um, party. But yeah. if yeah, John party like. But if you force that or try to be like, oh, I'm gonna go in and make a a twangy Mark Chestnut song, it's yeah. probably gonna sound like a corny attempt yeah. at being, <clears throat> you know, '90s and catchy and stuff. But I feel like you knowing you and kind of how you approach it creatively, it's, I mean. No, yeah. I, I I'm I'm excited for that. I mean, yeah. I think and, I think that's, it's, it's only only going to help you in a lot of ways too. Even even though your trajectory is like that, like yeah. trajectory is like and, this. And, <laughs> and, and if and if we go in and, and we cut the 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 record and it does sound like this, it sounds like I'm forcing something. Then I'm not going to put it out because yeah. you know I have I have respect for the fans and everything like that. Like I'm not going to put something that I'm not comfortable out. With, you know what I mean? Mm. Like if, if it does sound like some corny ass country shit, then I'm gonna be like, "Hey, you guys were fucking right." Like I'm definitely not putting this out. You yeah. Know? You uh, yeah. you mentioned Jelly Roll. Do you have any other features on the new album uh, that's coming out this uh, year? Maybe. No, we don't have we don't have any features on the record. Um, we, I'll I'll feature on that Jelly Roll song, and then yeah. uh, it'll be Diplo Kodak and me. So cool. beautiful. Right on, All right, man. buddy. Well, enjoy the wine. Cheers. Yeah, I will, man. It's good <laughs> seeing y'all, boys. No, man. we got to we got to do it in person soon. I'm itching for it. Yeah, we actually. Yeah, I think Jeb invited us to your birthday like three oh, days before shit, it yes. happened, <laughs> and I was like, "Dude, we both got kids." Oh, dude, no, my wife wives. goes. My wife goes. Let's go. I go. I'm like, you don't understand what I mean when I say a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> and we, our son just turned two um yeah, my we, would, we would be fine old. yeah we would be fine <laughs> like, we would yeah. hang she's like let's go i was like let's go it's next fucking saturday right yeah, <laughs> yeah. um but we would have we wanted to be there man i'm not gonna yeah, lie we did. Yeah. We, that we looked like fun no was... did nelly perform uh, paul wall. I think, no paul wall was oh there. paul wall i don't know i was at all these well, guys from the <laughs> early 2000s in my it head. was it was it was quite quite chaos it was so I, I showed up. I showed up sober to it. Like I showed up sober. Wow. I was like, I wanna, planned it. I want to. I want to go in. I want to shake everybody's hand. Tell them thanks for coming. You know, mingle with everybody, and then I'll. You know, once kind of some of the older people start to leave, then I'll like a wedding down and yeah, you know, and exactly. I I got about a quarter way around the venue, and it was tequila, Posted. tequila, tequila. <laughs> oh, I yeah, got. I think I, there's what. There's no, a I'm picture sorry. of me. I'm I'm drinking a bottle of water that says anything. <laughs> Whenever Paul Wall went on, I was drinking a bottle of water. I was like, the, I've got a soda. I saved the video. I think that's from your birthday. I want to share. Um, is did not Ric Flair? Ric Flair sent him a video yeah. message. That was that was the birthday, right? Yeah, I think he he signed. He gave me a robe too. But his know. his his okay. Uh, who, that's awesome. But what he his <laughs> message was. The funny part, <laughs> you were just like, what, what did he fuck? And now I'm mad. At, it's something about getting all the pussy or something. Get all the pussy. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm a come Ooh, on, hey, Rick Flair. That's, hey, you can go to your a... grave having Rick Flair say that nature to you boy at your birthday. That was another thing. I was I was so drunk at that point that I was Dre or they somebody put up the TikTok and I was like. When did when did that happen? Dre was like, "You don't remember that happening?" And I was like, "No." He was like, "It's like, damn, dog, you." How the hell? Stuff. Yeah, it's like, how the hell does Ric Flair come into this picture? But I love I th- it. I think I I just remember it in pieces. I don't remember the full the full on video, but that's a great video. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it was it. it was awesome, man. Shout out Rick. He's awesome. Well, happy dude, happy man. belated birthday. Um, yeah. Stay safe it. on the road, and we'll uh we'll have some fireball and tequila and rumple mints and Coors Light and wine and uh and something else soon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. It was good seeing y'all. Thanks y'all. Thank y'all again for having me. All right, buddy. See you, man.